Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So today I bring you almost, almost a full face of Timu makeup. I say almost because I didn't have exactly a full face, but we got pretty close. I am so excited. Not only is this a full face testing Timu makeup that you guys have been requesting for months and months, but I also ordered a few items that are possible dupe for high end makeup. So we have a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury. We have a little bit of NYX, It Cosmetics. You guys are gonna see it all in today's video. So I'm gonna spill the tea, you already know. Grab your cafecito and with that said, let's jump into today's full face-ish of Timu makeup. Let's jump right into it, you guys, because I have so much to show you. Not only possible dupes, but also just testing this new makeup. So if you guys haven't already downloaded the Timu app, Make sure you download it, click the link in my description. They are currently celebrating their one year anniversary and they have thousands of items for $1 and under. So again, make sure you check out Temu, go to my description box, click on the link and you guys can actually get a $100 coupon bundle for free. Just either search my code DKC6355 on Temu to claim this coupon. So again, everything will be listed here or in the description box. So with that said, let's jump right into today's full face of Temu makeup. I don't have a primer, so I prepped my skin. It is ready to go. This is called the Pop Feel Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation, okay? When I saw this, I was like, no way, stop it right now. I want you guys to tell me which foundation this reminds you of, okay? Let me know in the comment section right now what this foundation is. Like, what are they trying to do? I'm not gonna say it because I want you guys to tell me in the comments down below. I know which one it is and I don't have it anymore. I got rid of it maybe like two years ago. Oh yeah, all right, let's go in with a brush. So I ordered this little Kabuki foundation brush because I wanted to try it out. I mean, is it gonna be a good match? Definitely not, but we're gonna buff it in. It doesn't smell like anything, honestly. I'm gonna take a glance here. Okay, that actually does not look bad at all. It's very, very dewy. As you can see, the skin is looking very wet, but it's giving me full coverage. So I'm gonna do another pump. I'm gonna apply a little on the forehead and then the rest on the other cheek. And we're just gonna blend this out. I am getting a little bit of fallout with the brush. It's loosening some of its hair, but no problem. Maybe I just needed to wash it, but I really wanted to film this video for you guys. So I just jumped and got ready as soon as I received my Temu order. I'm gonna switch to a different brush. So I ordered this set of brushes. Do you guys remember when these brushes were like all the hype? A few years back on YouTube, everybody wanted them, but they were crazy expensive. I know I couldn't afford them, so I never bought them. I would always buy them off of eBay, and now we have them on Temu. So let's see how these work. They are super dense, so this is going to make your foundation go a long ways. I mean, that's really not bad. It's just, I think I'm used to always buffing in my foundation and this doesn't really give me the chance to do that. So take that as you will. I'm gonna switch over to this one right here. It's a little smaller, so I think it'll fit a little bit better around the brows. Okay, this brush is definitely a keeper if you like to do your brows before you do your foundation like me. I just feel like I have to do my brows before. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This foundation actually looks amazing. The color obviously is way off, but if they actually had different foundation shades, like this is something that I could see a lot of people that are a little less oily and more dry reaching for. This one has like a pinky undertone. I don't know how to describe it. Definitely not my color, but on the face, it looks really pretty, super, super dewy. So let's move on to concealer because <laughs> you guys are gonna die when I show you which one I have. We have two concealers. So this one is a full coverage concealer 
in the shade FCO3. Now, as you can see, it is a little peachy, which is fine. I'm actually gonna use this to color correct. So I am gonna go in with this little brush right here, and I am going to take that underneath the eyes to help me color correct a little bit. Just right here, a little more, and then doing it on this side as well because the concealer that we have that we're going to try out, I am very curious to see how it's gonna work. I also got some new sponges because I always go through mine like crazy. So I'm actually going to use the skin toned one to help me blend out this concealer since these can be used wet and dry or not wet and dry, you can use them for wet or dry products. Okay, that's not too bad. Definitely not a concealer that I would use again for color correcting because it didn't really color correct, but it did give my under eyes a nice little brightening effect. So for my concealer, you guys, we are using the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer of course this is not by it cosmetics it is by whoever made this but we're gonna try it the only thing that was hard for me to figure out were the shades because they were a little bit off so this is gonna be a little too light it is 20.0 medium neutral which i was hoping would kind of fit me since i have neutral undertones but it's a little light as you can see. I have tried this concealer in the past before and I am not a fan of it because it is a little on the thicker side and they tend to cake up on me a lot. But it has been a few years since I tried it so we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna first tap it in with my fingers to kind of like warm up the product on the skin. And because it is full coverage, I'm not gonna go too crazy. Okay, but why am I actually shocked? Like, this is, this is actually really good. Not me liking it better than It Cosmetics. Just kidding. I am impressed. I am so impressed right now. I can't even believe it. Okay, let's move on. I have here the makeup pen. Multi-functional makeup pen. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can tell. I kept the box because I wanted you guys to see it. I'm sure you guys can tell who who this is, right? I believe this is a blush. Pretty much the same packaging. It has the on and off. Honestly, I've never tried any of the Charlotte Tilbury blushes or bronzers. I only have the Tarte one to really compare it to. But, oh, okay, she is pink. She is a bright pink. It does have the cushion to it, but it's not as glowy as I believe the Charlotte Tilbury. That's all right, we're still gonna try them. I'm only gonna try it on this cheek because I have a different blush that I wanted to show you guys on this side, okay? So let's just leave her there. I saw these brushes and they definitely reminded me of the Morphe and Ariel set. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna give them a try. Like now that I'm seeing them in person, they are definitely different. Um, the quality doesn't feel the same as well but we're gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna use this one because it's a little bit small and then it's shaped like this. So I feel like it would be great for blush. So I'm gonna use that to blend out. Wow, this is actually really pigmented. Okay, this one is more of a matte finish. I think Charlotte Tilbury does have matte blushes. You guys that have tried them, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm actually like not even mad at this product. So on this side of my cheek, I wanted to test out the on the go blush, which is this one right here. And I have mine to compare it to. This one reminded me, I mean, the packaging, come on, a pixie. This is the IBCCCNDC <laughs> on the go blush, tinted moisture stick used on eyes, lips, and cheeks. And I have one to compare it to. This is the Pixie by Petra on the glow bronze. Tinted Moisture Stick. So very similar. Uh, the only difference is that this one is smaller. So obviously this is going to be more of a bronzy shade. So this is the Pixie by Petra. That is the color that I currently have, which is a really pretty like flush toned pink. And then this one is Coral Orange, which orange is like my absolute favorite blush and look at that 
That honestly glides a lot better than the Pixie by Petra. It's a little bit more pigmented and it has a really nice dewy glow to it. So I don't know y'all, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna take it directly onto the cheek. Look at that, that, <laughs> she glides. I'm gonna switch over to this clean brush to see how she blends. Oof, oof. This color though for the summer, <gasps> oh, that glow. Look at that, that is really pretty. That is giving glass skin, y'all. I don't know about you guys, but I am loving for this. Obviously, I'm not gonna leave my skin like this because I am oily and I do have to set. Now looking at everything together, the eyes are definitely not my favorites. I wouldn't typically go for an under eye like this just because I can still see the darkness peeking through but we're just gonna muster through it and move along, okay? We're gonna set the skin with this mineral powder. It's called Pure Mineral Powder. Literally, that's all it is called. I'm pretty sure it's in the shade Translucent and it comes with a little powder puff. I'm gonna take some and set the under eyes. And then I'm just gonna use that same powder to just set the entire skin. This powder is super finely milled, so you're not going to get that dryness if you suffer from dry skin. This is a powder that you want to go with, something that is light and breathable on the skin. I'm going to move on to highlights since I think this is the last like base product that I have. I have some eyeshadows and some lipsticks, but this right here is, I'm pretty sure it's either a highlighter or an eyeshadow. We might use it as both. It's like a little uh, CD, not a CD player. What do you call these? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? But when I swatched this yesterday, I was shocked. Like this is actually something that I can see myself using constantly because not only the color is something that i gravitate towards but it is beautiful let me shut up and show you guys okay look at how pretty that is okay so i'm going to use that to highlight the cheekbones while we do the eyes i am going to use this not nyx <laughs> jolly jojo professional color f foit hydro drip Hi, hi drip, something like that. <laughs> this one reminded me so much of the NYX drip oils or something like that. I don't have one with me. My daughter stole the one that I have. So we're just gonna apply it, but honestly the packaging is exactly the same. I have the pink one, so I know what the formula feels like. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Igualitos, they both feel exactly the same. They have that like thicker, oil consistency if you guys have tried the milani fruit fetish lip oils this is exactly what it reminds me of it smells really nice it has a nice thick doe foot applicator and it hydrates the lips i mean guys i finished the eyes off camera i forgot i almost forgot that i have two more blushes i am gonna apply some more because i think i lost a little bit of the color so this is the L lake rain beauty which, hello, Rare Beauty. I don't know the color of this one, but the packaging is exactly the same. This is a really pretty like baby pink, very soft pink. And then this is the Lang Mani, which is almost an exact dupe of the She Glam blushes. I love those, I have so many of them. That one is pretty much an exact dupe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to mix them both. I just mix them on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to like apply them on the top. Okay, it's actually really pretty. The Rare Beauty one is drying down to like a matte finish, which I love matte blushes. So I am here for that. I'm going to set the skin using this Lasting Charm Shiny Skin. It's by the brand Novo. It's really pretty. This one kind of reminded me of the House Labs. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I don't know if they still have that packaging. I know she like revamped her brand, but when they first came out, they had something similar like this. So I'm going to give you guys a swatch of this. It's a really pretty, like a soft peach. I think it might be a little too light for my skin tone, so I think I'm gonna pass on that one. 
but I do have a really pretty crayon. This is the Tiasan lipstick. It's just a really pretty crayon. Where do I show you guys? I have so many swatches and it looks like that. So I think I'm gonna use that one and then you can just twist it up. I'm definitely gonna need a lip liner. Okay, you guys, so I think that is everything. This is a full face testing Timu makeup. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, I'm actually impressed with a lot of these products. The only thing that I kind of didn't care for was the Bye Bye Under Eyes. It, I mean, it did offer full coverage, but I think it wasn't enough full coverage or maybe I needed a good color corrector. So I don't know, maybe we'll give this a try in the future. But other than that, the blushes were good. The lip gloss was good. The brushes were good. I actually really like this lipstick. It's really comfortable, or this crayon, it's really comfortable on the lips. And I think the product that really stood out to me is the foundation. This surprised me so much. It just really looks great on the skin. We'll see how it wears, but so far, so good. So that is it for me, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's full face of Timu makeup. Please don't forget to check out the description box and help me celebrate with Timu for this their one year anniversary click the link use my coupon and claim your offer so that is it for me you guys i love you so much stay safe and until next time i'll see you all in my next video